what are the diagnosis and treatment of bladder stone diagnosis of bladder stone may involve a physical examination your doctor will likely peel your lower abdomen to see if your bladder is enlarged or distended or may perform a rectal examination to determine whether your prostate is enlarged you will also discuss any urinary sign or symptom that you are having analysis of urine a sample of your urine may be collected and will be examined through microscope and the amount of blood bacteria and crystallized and minerals in it a urinary analysis can also determine whether you have urinary tract infection which can cause or be result of bladder stone computerized tomography ct ct uses x-ray and computer to quick scan and provide clear images of the inside of your body ct scan can detect every small stone and is considered to be one of the most sensitive tests for identifying all type of bladder stone ultrasound an ultrasound which bounces sound waves of organ and structure in your body to create pictures can help your doctor detect bladder stone x-rays an x-ray of your kidney ureter and bladder help your doctor determine whether stone are present in your urinary system but some type of stone stones aren't visible on conventional x-rays what are the treatment options bladder stones are generally need to be removed your doctor may recommend drinking a lot of water each day to help a small stone pass naturally however because bladder stone are often caused by a the inability to empty the bladder completely this may not be enough to make some stone pass most cases require removal of the stone breaking the stone bladder stone are often removed during a procedure called cystelolepaxy a small tube with a camera at the end stethoscope is inserted through your urethra and into your bladder to weep the stone your doctor then uses laser ultrasound or mechanical device to break the stone into small pieces and splashes the piece from your bladder handheld lithotripers use ultrasound energy to break up the stone into small pieces and enough to pass into the urine before the procedure you will likely to be given an anesthetic that numb the lower part of your body regional anesthesia or that make your unconscious and unable to feel pain complication from cystelolepaxy are common but the urinary tract infection fever a tear in your bladder or bleeding can occur your doctor may be give you antibiotic before and after the procedure to reduce the risk of infection surgical removal is another option occasionally bladder stone that are large are too hard to break are removed through surgery in these cases your doctor